So we finally had a very well-deserved, beautiful weather weekend here in Northeast Ohio. It hit 80 on Saturday and Sunday, and we had these wonderful blue skies. As you can imagine, me and my friends rode our bikes a lot this weekend. Uh, my friend Kenny, who hasn't been able to ride as much lately, recently said something like, any day on the bike is a good day. And watching back this footage, it got me thinking about why that is so true to me. And what it comes down to is every ride is different. And even if you're riding over the same old bridge or on the same bike path, there's always something changing. There's always different variables. It could be the conversation you're having with the friends that are around you, the different group of people you put around you, or even if you're riding alone, it could just be the thoughts that are going through your head. It could also be, depending on the time of day, the time of year. You know, it's been a long time since we've been out in 80 degrees with beautiful sunshine. And that just changes everything up and changes the vibe, being out there in shorts and t-shirt again. But there are other things we like to do to keep it interesting, you know, hitting all the different kinds of surfaces and the way we've come to learn to do that. You know, I watch a lot of YouTube videos, like I'm guessing cycling YouTube videos, like I'm guessing a lot of people who watch this channel do. And I love watching someone like Terry Berenson rip through the streets of New York, a city that I absolutely love, or watching a bikepacking.com video with the beautiful scenery out west. But I don't think you have to live in one of those truly amazing amazing places to do really cool stuff on your bike. Uh, my friend Otis, who owns Dirty River Bicycle Works, has a phrase he calls exploring, and he kind of sums it up as, you know, you're riding down the road or on a bike path and you see some kind of cut, some kind of gate, some kind of path, and you say to yourself, I wonder where that goes. You know, sometimes it's just some dead end, sometimes there's too many private property signs, but other times it leads to some hidden trails, it leads to a different cut that keeps you off a busy road, you know, it could just be a different surface that takes you to the same location you're already trying to go to. It's just we've started to do that all over for a number of years, even going down the rabbit hole of searching Google Maps for abandoned train tracks, all the kind of stuff that we call the industrial gravel. You know, maybe we don't have the fire roads that they have out west, but we've found amazing stuff around here. And I'm guessing wherever you live, there's probably stuff like that, too. It's just one of those things. I think if your rides are starting to become boring, uh, to you, then maybe it's time to try and branch out and do something different. I mean, it doesn't even have to be as off the beaten path as some of the stuff we do. It could be the simple thing of, you know, picking that favorite brewery, bar, or restaurant and mapping out a different route to get there, heading through different neighborhoods, heading down different neighborhood streets. You know, there's that, you know, cliche expression, be a tourist in your own town. But I really believe that's very true. You know, I always want to see something different. I always want to see something new. And I always want to ch challenge myself by riding something different. You know, when you do hit some of that fun off-road stuff that's not made, you know, for bikes, it could be a fun, challenging experience. So I guess that's just, you know, what I've kind of been thinking when I'm looking back at this footage. You know, I have probably 90 miles over these two days um, in this, like I said, again, wonderful weather. But I just look and I'm like... There we were riding on a road I've never been on, and then there we are riding down some weird gravel path in some unusual no man's land that I have no idea what it is, and it's just so cool. And there's also that experience of taking someone who's never been there and getting to see they're experiencing it for the first time or having someone show you something you've never seen before. So yeah, that's just kind of it. Just a wonderful weather weekend. Um, I just am so just has me in a good mood. Um, I know we're not out of the woods yet here in Northeast Ohio. We never are. We have a high of 40 on Wednesday. Uh, originally, there was a chance of snow. I think that's gone now. But again, even that will lead to something different, and we'll still get out there, and we'll still have a good time. So that's all for now. Just a little ramble, and I will see you in the next one.